Hello, my name is Henke. Welcome to this playthrough slash walkthrough of Xenema. Here in the first room you should uh, of course pick up the torch, but also over here in the corner is a shield. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually pretty good. Out in the dark hallway, we find that our path is blocked ahead and to the left. We'll have to head right to try to find the key. When you get to this door, close it behind you. That's important. Otherwise, if you leave it open, the monsters get through and then you'll probably have to fight a bunch of monsters in the dark when you're coming back. You don't want to do that. Right here I do something really dumb, right off the bat. Uh, end up getting my ass kicked a whole bunch while I'm trying to pick up this machete off the shelf and uh, it's just... Uh, it's not as bad as it looks though. Uh, this guy's got a blunt weapon and it's only causing temporary damage. No permanent damage. So we can uh, recover from this as long as we can defeat this guy. Here in the corner room we find a compass, which is handy. You'll want to check out this room right here. Looks like a fight went down here, but uh, go ahead and grab this guy's tunic. If you haven't picked up a decent pair of boots, you can also get one here. After that, keep heading north, go into this uh, long hallway where there is a door in the middle. Looks like this guy killed himself. Well, Go ahead and grab his uh, waistcoat and also, quite importantly, grab the key that's lying on the table. We'll need that back in that dark hallway. You can usually find some good stuff in these chests, uh, some armor.
After that, head back out in the out into the dark hallway. Uh, open the other door. There's a hostile guy right behind this door, but uh, you gotta get in there. Alright, after that guy's taken care of, you get to enter the room. It's a big empty room, but if we look over here in the corner, there's a barrel with a bunch of debris in it. Take all that stuff out and at the bottom is a sword, a proper sword at last. I mean it's old and rusted, but it's uh, a still an improvement over the machete. A jar of blue glowing stuff. You will want to hang on to this. In here there's prosthetics hanging on the wall and some pretty creepy notes on the desk some good lore in here um, not much else though nothing much useful with the meat cleaver gets in a real good hit and uh, our permanent damage is at half this is not good for a moment here as we get caught up in the bench <laughs> things are looking quite grim That was a close call, or 
let's play might have ended right here but uh, luckily I managed to take care of this guy after that I will just uh, close the door over here and uh, go ahead and use that health potion I picked up a while back Usually towards the end there's a guy, there's a real hostile guy with a great sword and some pretty good armor around this part. Uh, luckily we managed to avoid him this time. Read through the note and then walk through the door. That's it for level 1. I'll see you again in the next episode.